it's okay. I know. Don't make me cry, man. You you yeah, we'll make you cry. We'll make you cry. We'll make you cry. So get out your handkerchief or whatever. Alright. Actually, my first poem is called Good Night and Goodbye, Welcome to Port St. Lucie. It's what she told me when she told me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about how, like, I just came here about five days ago. Oh. Scoot it up if you need to. Alright. Alright. Um, this poem is called Good Night, Goodbye, or Good Night and Goodbye, Welcome to Port St. Lucie. It's what my aunt told me. She's over there. Say hi, love, hello, to Kesson. Hello. Hi, hi. Uh, this is what she told me before she sent me to sleep. And, alright. The world around was nothing but tall blades, tall grass blades, as tall as a moose. The alligator was now standing upright, sharp enough to cut him in two, and half two. Palms littered the area like poxes on human flesh. Over each of them was a small black tomato which were swarms of mosquitoes that would do to you ten times worse than Dracula ever could. It was certainly a feast for the frog that croaked ever so loudly. At, at the free, free, free all you can eat buffet. But ahead was a river where the sun rays danced upon the endless gentle ripples. It was as if the sun was beneath the waves and exploding upwards into the sky. White-coated gold 